Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Today I wanted to have a chat to you about a cool little plastic from the Z-Man range called the 2.75 inch TRD Bugs. So the Bugs is a creature bait, and for me, I love creature baits. Things like the, the three inch TRD Hogs, and this little bloke here, and also those small crustaceans like the two inch crusties and the two and a half inch TRD craws. They're just awesome little presentations for when the bite's tough, and especially when there's not a lot of run, or you're fishing a bit slower, fishing shallow water, where you really want to slow down that retrieve and attract the fish's attention when that bite is a little bit tough to get. So the 2.75 inch TRD bugs, what is it? It's a creature bait. So a creature bait means it's basically designed to represent a creature, be it a terrestrial creature that's ended up in the water or an aquatic creature. And you can see there, it's got plenty of moving parts on there. It's also got ribbing on that plastic to give extra vibration to water movement as well. We've got our offset small fins on the side and we've got our larger claw-like antennae on the top here as well. So plenty of moving parts and also it feels real because of that ribbing and also because of that 10 times tougher LazTech with its super soft and flexible feel as well. So feels realistic, lots of bits on it. Fish don't have hands, so the only way that they can find out what that is, is to put it in their mouth and check out what it is. So let's have a look at how we rig and how we fish that 2.75 inch TRD bug. So I managed to get my hand on some, as, as you may have heard already in one of my other videos, and I did take them for a test run. Only had one. Uh, first cast, it got eaten by a brim ate the whole thing right up to the nedlocks, and then I caught another brim, and then I rigged it weedless, and I went and caught a couple of flathead as well. So I was fishing in rubbly bottom and broken weed beds and that sort of thing where this thing could represent a prawn, a crab, all sorts of different creatures. So rigging options, there's a stack of rigging options. Uh, you'll find here, predominantly in standard jig heads, I've got a size one hook. So you can rig it on a size two, you can rig it on a size one, you might even squeeze a one-o in it, but for me, it, it rigs beautifully on a size one hook. So what are our options? We've got our hidden weight system jig heads. So a hidden weight system jig head, that weight is concealed inside the plastic, it's built onto the shank of the hook. So the great thing about the hidden weight system jig head is that weight is hidden. So it looks extremely natural, feels extremely natural. The only thing really poking out of the plastic is the hook. So looks natural to the fish. When they attack that, the hook is pretty much the only thing they're gonna bump, on, bump into there and hopefully you pin them in the lip or you get, get them in the mouth and away you go. So that hidden weight system jig head, it allows us to skip cast this plastic really well up into structure and under pontoons and all that sort of thing. And it also allows us to hold that plastic up in the water column because we can go right down to tiny weights, 1 40th, 1 28th of an ounce in these hidden weight system jig heads. We can keep that plastic up where the fish are if they're up feeding onto pontoons or they're up feeding around jetties or rock walls or wherever it might be. That hidden weight system is a brilliant natural presentation to slowly sink that plastic down. Watch your line. If you see any movement in your line or you see your line suddenly stop when it should be sinking, set that hook because there's probably a fish has got it in its mouth. So that's our hidden weight system jig head. I've got it on a size one there and it looks really, really good. So. That'll be a good presentation for fishing around structure and also really, really shallow water as well. It can be effective. One thing I should have told you though, out of the packet, like with our crusties, you'll find the claws of the TRD bugs are joined together. So the first thing we want to do when we take it out of the packet to get maximum action and that out of it, we just pop those main claws apart and there we go. We're ready to go with maximum movement in our appendages there. So lots and lots of movement to attract the fish. Okay, I can see myself rigging this little plastic a lot on a headlocks jig head. So a headlocks jig head has that grub keeper that's designed to lock that Z-Man elastic plastic in place. So it goes up over the grub keeper, falls into the gap, locks it on nice and solid. And in the headlocks HD and headlocks finesse, I've got them on a size one, and you might fish them from a 1 20th, 1 16th, right through to even a quarter ounce, depending on your target species, how quick the current is, how far down you want to get that lure and how fast. So you'll notice with the packaging here, our finesse has a blue top and a black bottom and the packaging reverses for the HD. So it's got that black top and the blue bottom on the packaging. So that helps you to identify one from the other when you're looking at them on the shelves. They have that reverse packaging. And you'll also see it's got a H for heavy or an L for light. Uh, and it also says on here HD or finesse series. So 
to be able to tell those apart. What is the difference between them? The difference is in the gauge of the hook. So our finesse is a fine wire and our HD is a heavy wire hook, so it's a more heavy duty hook. So for those of you that are finesse fishing with light line, light drags, and you really want maximum chance of penetration and hooking that fish, you want the Headlocks Finesse jig head. If you're a bit more brutal or you're a beginner and you're, and you're not sure on using that fine wire hook, then you might want to look at that HD hook. Also, if you're extracting brim out of trees or you know heavy cover, heavy structure, you may want to go for that HD hook. Chemically sharpened black nickel hook still, so still excellent on the penetration, but just not as fine in the wire as that Headlocks Finesse. So they are going to look beautiful on those and being buoyant, of course, when they're on the bottom, they're standing up and moving with the water movement to attract fish and trigger strikes as well. So we'll be rigging them a lot on that Headlocks Finesse and that Headlocks HD. One of my favorite ways to fish them is how I fish the TRD Craws as well, which is on the Ned Locks. So that Ned rig is super effective. When you're fishing shallow water, you're fishing little broken weedy pockets, you're fishing nice and slow, there's no run, the bite's tough, change it to a Ned rig and see how you go. So again, we can go with like a bright orange, like our orange Nedlocks here with our greasy prawn color. And again, we've got that yabby presentation like we have with our TRD crawls as well. So that bugs will be brilliant across the yabby beds rigged greasy prawn with an orange head. And then, you know, we may want to go a bit more natural than that bright orange head, team up a black head with something like a mud bug color. You've got that nice fleck, you've got that darker color, and that's going to be a brilliant crab imitation to fish around where, where crabs live, rock walls, broken rubble beds and that sort of thing. That's going to be a great crab imitation, very natural looking presentation. So again, with that Ned rig, that mushroom style head, it allows the plastic to hinge up even quicker. So you can give it a few little hops and shakes and keep it in the zone, keep it around the structure and it hinges back up extremely quickly, like it's escaping or it's moving and then it's defending itself or it's feeding on what it might be doing on the bottom. So if I'm a crab, I'm getting away, I'm putting my claws up in defense boom, I trigger that strike. So the Ned Rig is very good at attracting fish, very good at triggering strikes from fish as well. So that's on our size one, that's a one tenth I've got there. You can, you can go down to the one fifteenth size two, but a one tenth is very good when you're flats fishing and that sort of thing. Step it up to the one sixth or the one fifth if you're fishing deeper edges. Then if you want eyes, you know, that's probably some of the main ways I'll rig it standard. But for those that like their demons painted heads, we've now got our TRD bugs with eyeballs on here as well, on our jig head, and that'll be effective around the estuaries and fresh water. And then you can even add a bit of flash and vibration if you want to, you could put that TRD bugs on a, a little Revlox as well. So you've got that flash and vibration of the blade and you've got all that movement of those legs and things as well. So you can shake it, you can wind it for a bit, get some flash, let it hit the bottom, shake it around. So, so don't, don't be restricted by standard rigging. You can think out of the box a bit and have a play with this little TRD bugs as well, because it is a nice bite size profile to, for fish to feed on. Another way that I rig it a lot uh, is weedless rigged. So it rigs really well on a finesse chin locks in a size two. So you could, again, you could probably sneak up to a size one, but a size two fits in there beautifully. And being a buoyant plastic, you could fish this on the surface, shake it around, flick it up under branches and shake it around for bass. You know, flick it into those weeds and lilies Work it, work it around structure where, where the fish will be holding, waiting to ambush prey. And this could be something that's fallen into the water or it could be something aquatic that's swimming around in there. Shake it, you've got a lot of movement in there on the surface, will attract that fish. And because that Z-Man's so soft and flexible, they can clear that hook and they'll find themselves pinned on that little black nickel chemically sharpened hook. So that's a chin locks finesse and that's a size two. And again, a size two in our snake lock. So this is a really cool way to rig it for those that want to fish weedy patches, weedy drains, rubble patches, broken broken weed, is to get this guy in where those crabs and prawns and all those sort of creatures are and twitch it around in there. Again, it stands up and waves its arms around with that head, separate head sitting on the bottom. And again, with our chin locks finesse jig heads, we can disconnect that there. I, boom, I can fish that on the surface or I can have a few different heads in there and I can switch it up between head and hook size, head weight and hook size as required. So that's, that'll clear that beautifully when a fish bites that. So that's on our size two in a snake locks and that's a 1 12th ounce. So nice for that really shallow water fishing. So a deadly little plastic and a stack of different ways you can rig it. It also makes an excellent 
trailer on your jigs. So that's the Z-Man cross eyes power finesse jig, which is an excellent bass jig. And you can see there with that skirt in around there, we've got those, all those bits and pieces from that, all those little attractants on the back of there as well. So it makes an excellent jig trailer as well for those bass guys and that that are fishing with their jigs. All right, so that is our 2.75 inch TRD bugs. Don't forget when you get it out the packet, pop those claws apart, those main claws, and you're ready to fish. 10 times tough, super soft and flexible, buoyant, all those things that make those Z-Man plastics so effective. For me, I will predominantly be fishing it on that hidden weight system jig head that's gonna be dynamite around the pontoons and that higher in the water structure. I'm gonna be rigging it a lot on a finesse headlocks for brimbos, the Ned rig definitely, and that weedless option with the snake locks. Give, give those a go, see how you go. Keen to see what you catch on them. Get out there and have a crack. Cheers.